the M3V SFT Super Thrower by Eagle Tack. And let me tell you, my friends, the pictures just don't cut it. If you use this at close distances, then you will get a headache and your eyes are going to get a, a singeing because this is bright. I'm not kidding. It's the brightest thrower I have. Aside from the uh, SVT 90.2 that I have, I've demonstrated before. Unbelievable power. I know this Eagle Tack, uh, people have different opinions on Eagle Tack, but, uh, uh, and some people prefer them, some people don't, but uh, it's a constant current regulated brand that specializes in uh, various lights. I really like the fact that they're constant current regulated and uh, generally of very good quality. I have had some exceptions to that rule. I've had times where I thought about, hey, this isn't working out. But uh, this is no joke. A, uh, a very definite light, uh, very definitely a light that well, if you use it against a white wall, it's going to hurt your eyes. So if you want to be the one that is, uh, here we go, it's broke back up to full there. If you want to be the one that is uh, the, with the brightest light in the room, the brightest thrower, you need only look here. Look at that. So it has a 30 second timed step down where it starts to gradually step down. But now look at that when it's full power. Uh, my only complaint is, uh, there's the cat, is that the beam is quite ringy on the center next to the uh, nipple area. I call it uh, the corona, the nipple area, whatever, wherever you want to call it. I'm trying to clean my garage. You guys tell I was working out. I can't tell you how bright this is. It's not coming through on camera, but you can see some of the rings. Yeah, this is my most impressive thrower, at least right now. My other throwers don't light up like this. They don't, they're not wielding this type of power. Except, again, for the, the JKK SBT 90.2 I have. That's the only one, and that's because it's 5,000 uh, lumens. This is uh, uh, 2,700, and uh, I think the ANSI lumens are a little bit less than that. But uh, who cares? I mean, that's... This is the only momentary on uh, SB, uh, SBT, SFT 70 thrower that you can get that hits super thrower range. This reminds me of some very good relationship advice. If someone tells you something about themselves, believe them. I hate drama. Daddy pays my cell phone bill. What's a cop? All right, now that we got the uh, cool stuff out of the way, we're going to move along to the light itself.
One special note, I like the uh, rubber caps that, that they uh, that Eagle Tack offers that allow you to put it on there. You can take that off and you can put on the little ring in this box that I took off, the ones they normally come with, the battery blocker, the USB Type-C charger, and then you have a lanyard if you want it. You have a, you have a holster. I bought this from uh, Illumination Gear. Feel free to head over. They, right now, are the only ones that appear to have this light in stock. I don't see from any of the Eagle Tech, uh producers. I don't see any of the uh, any of the others. So here is the instruction manual that came along with it. I noticed that when I bought the light, I had to do the quick, uh, I put this on, and then had to do the quick 20 hits because it kept coming on on high one click and then medium and then high and then medium and I there was no instructions on that so I just kind of had to play around with it so you get the uh, type C charging area uh, and um, you know it's pretty amazing uh, if it weren't for the performance of this damn thing I wouldn't really go for a light like this because I I mean it's head heavy it's kind of long, uh, other than the beam being slightly ringy around the little area and the weight of it. That's really the only issues that I would, but uh, for a law enforcement, I think this would be great for a high, high use, high frequency use tool. The included 21700 battery is internal. Uh, it's in there, you can take it out. It's just another Eagle Tac battery. By way of concluding thoughts, if you are an Eagle Tech person, um, I know this body design is older. I would like to see Eagle Tech get back in the game with some lower, slightly lower cost lights and uh, get away from this design because it is a little bit head heavy. I know that it needs, you need mass to absorb heat and, and that and, and so forth and so on. However, I think this design is a bit dated. I think it's time for an upgrade. Eagle Tech, please update your product line. This particular light has the makings of something to be really great because again, the industry does not offer a whole lot of uh, alternatives right now. That said, I think sadly people are going to pass this by because they're, they don't look at Eagle Tech the same way they do some of the cheaper Chinese brands. And I, uh, I want to be a fan of Eagle Tech, but I want to see them get it, get and stay in the game with some really aggressive products that are more pocket throwery that offer the same big, big guns. This is made for high lumens. It combines throw and high lumens well, and I give it credit for that. It does have its imperfections, but they are, you know, they're slight. Uh, I didn't talk in this video about the modes and about how you twist the head to get to the modes. I didn't talk about. Uh, a few programmable options that it has. I'm gonna. You don't really care about that. What you want to do is you want to see the product and decide if you decide if you want to do it. So, I'm gonna leave this video there. And again, if you decide you want one, just uh, head over and get one.